Okay, what I want to do today is to uh, do the example you see on the screen. I want to use Lorentz transformations to show uh, directly that two events that are simultaneous in one reference frame are not simultaneous in another reference frame that's moving relative to the first. And we want to use the example we've been using in class where you have uh, a railroad car going by a platform and at some instant in time lightning strikes the front end and the back end at the same time as viewed by an observer on the platform. So the person on the platform sees the lightning strike the front and the back end of the train at the same time. And what we're going to show is that the person in the moving frame, the prime frame, does not see them as being uh, occurring at the same time. We're going to assume that when lightning strikes the front and the back end of the train, that the, uh, the lightning leaves a mark not only on the train, but also on the platform. Okay. So I want to use the Lorentz transformations to uh, be able to do this. And so um, um, I want to calculate the time difference uh, and arrival between the two signals. So we know already that if the train is going to the right, that O prime is going to see the flash coming from the front of the train first, and then the one from the back of the train. Okay. So let's use the Lorentz transformation. I'm going to write equations for time, for the time in which um, uh, the elapsed time for the, uh, what happens in the front and in the back. Okay. I'm going to call this position x sub b. I'm going to call this position x sub f. The difference in those two positions is the proper length of the train. I'm sorry, it's the proper distance between B and F. It's the proper distance between the scorch marks. Okay. All right. So the Lorentz tra time transformations look like this. T prime equals gamma times T minus X V over C squared. And so I'm just going to do this with arbitrary values for the t's and the x's. So, so when lightning strikes here, the time t prime is going to be in terms of this location x sub b. And then we can write the expressions for T sub F prime. So I'm writing T sub F prime and T sub B prime in terms of the unprimed uh, uh, values. And then what I want to do is calculate the difference in those two times. I want to calculate T sub F prime minus T sub B prime. So I'm going to take this bottom equation and subtract the top equation from it. And when I do that, I want to get gamma T sub F minus T sub B minus x sub f minus x sub b times v over c squared. Now, in observer's o, O's reference frame, these two events happen at the same time. So that time difference, t front minus t back, is zero. 
So let me come here and rewrite this. And then I'll put in the value of zero. So this term is zero because uh, according to O, lightning strikes the front and back end of the train at the same time. This distance is just the proper distance between the two scorch marks. And so what I get is gamma times L naught V over C squared. The minus sign tells me that T sub B is greater than T sub A. So T sub B is greater than T sub A, uh, T sub F, sorry. Okay, T sub B prime is bigger than T sub F prime. Which means this. The clock in the front has ticked this much, <coughs> excuse me, the clock in the front has ticked by this amount <coughs> by the time observer O prime sees a signal from B prime. <coughs> Excuse me. That means that the clock at F prime <coughs> is ahead of the clock at B prime. <coughs> okay. So it means the events are simultaneously, the clocks, the clocks here aren't synchronized because this came first, the signal from here came first, and then the signal from the back came second. And so the clock, in the, uh, the clock here is ahead, the clock at F is ahead of the clock at B. But I'm not done yet because this is the time difference as measured in this frame. O prime says O's clocks run slower because of time dilation. So the time difference, the time difference is going to be this divided by gamma. Which is going to be L naught V over C squared. And I'm going to take the absolute value of this. Because what I want to write down is how far ahead this clock is ahead of this clock. The clock at F is ahead of the clock at B by this much. Now, um, according to a person on the train, according to observer O prime, the platform is moving to the left. Okay, according to observer O prime, o prime the platform is moving to the left. That means that the clock at F is the trailing clock. Okay, and it turns out that the trailing clock will always be ahead of the leading clock by this amount. So when you have two clocks synchronized in one reference frame, another reference frame moving relative to the first is going to say that the trailing clock leads the leading clock by this amount. <coughs> 